bring stability. What are there to destruction, if at all? It's very key. I've said, I was a governor. I've always obeyed the rule of law. You, have, you had the governor said that our state is turning to a state of anarchy where people do not obey the rule of law. Where people do not obey the rule of law. What is obeying rule of law? You must respect. You must obey the judgment of court. You must not take the law into your hand. It doesn't matter how you see that judgment. The moment you don't obey God judgment, you are inviting anarchy. You are inviting violence. Was that destruction done before now? Shall we leave your phone and listen to me? I'm listening to you. I've got, I need to go through my now, question line. The point we are making is that a governor came out on national television, national television, not local television, to tell the world, I will not obey court judgment. Did he say that? Yes. In fact, to crown it all, he said there was no way in the judgment that the court said the letter should not hold. He went as far as to say, I do not need police before I conduct an election. I do not need security agency before I conduct an election. I don't need the protection of life and property. When somebody says, I don't need police, what are you saying? I'm inviting violence, hoodlums, who take opportunity. Same police will not be involved. But well, it seems that you are misinterpreting what the government Not said. misinterpreting. Yeah. No, no, not misinterpreting. You heard him say, I do not need police before I conduct election because they withdrew police from the house here. Fine. What is the function of police? What is the function of state security? To provide security so that hoodlums cannot take advantage and do bad. And you are saying, you can go. I don't care about it. I don't care about it. In that case, who is the perpetrator of that violence? Who? Are you blaming the governor for the violence that... It's not about blaming. Governor is the architect of the violence. 